place. It's not exactly holiday art battle themed, but uh, hey, artist's choice. Yes. Her, her uh, sample works, uh, her studio works are fantastic. If you're logged into the Art Battle uh, voting uh, and you've, you've sent your phone number in, just click on her name there. Some really fantastic work. I'm, I'm really glad she went in, her, in one of her classic modes, the floral direction. Uh, this is gonna be a fantastic uh, painting, no doubt. Uh, it's a pot, not a beer. It was, uh, I don't know, that's, that must be the holiday thinking of me, but uh, uh, we're seeing her, her uh, she is a, a still life and floral painter as well. So we'll, we'll have a, something interesting to compare with here. I really like this artist's piece. Um, the symmetry is what's really catching it for me here and coming in a very wise strategy of doing, you know, a sort of a light thin color uh, right off the bat and then coming in with some darker line work on top. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. For anybody who came with a, one of the, you know, a Santa elf hat on, I don't think this is going to do it for them. <laughs> I appreciate the, the, the graffiti feel of, of, of that piece. That's a very, um, you know, bathroom break on a graffiti run. I think, that, I think that's right. She's from Korea. Mm -hmm.
And it's all palette work, all palette knife work. That's um, that's nice. Well, with a palette knife, you can just wipe it off. With a brush, it's where you get into where you get into trouble. This is sort of a a, a, land, a landscape face uh, work going on. This is his first time, so it's a. Uh, he came with a plan, no doubt. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What do you what do you even say about this painting? It's so funny. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I guess this is a, a critique on our uh, obsession with our mobile devices, perhaps. Or is are we to empathize with the character that is the poop emoji on the phone? Does this does this poop emoji have autonomy? Are they running around causing trouble? Yeah, it's true. You know, we see a couple couple hundred roosters, but never, um, never a phone uh, uh, taking a bathroom break. This is uh, this is a, a beautiful piece. Um, I really like the palette. I like it's a pretty limited palette, but it's really coming across nicely. And this comes, I think, clearly from. She is a long student of of flowers and this flower. Um, because even though the strokes themselves are, you know, fairly, you know, fairly brushy, we, we still get the overall sense of the flower. You can tell this is the first timer because he's wearing a sweater. <laughs> All paint clothes, of, all clothes eventually become paint clothes for anybody who's not. He's, he's a new artist as well, actually. So there you go. Maybe you haven't seen that one yet. Very interesting to know. This one here looks like it is uh, quite uh, spontaneous. This one by Valeria. Uh, unlikely that she rehearsed this uh, painting. Looking like something that she is going with the flow in the moment here. And uh, getting her colors on there. Working thickly, she's got her whole canvas covered now, and yeah. uh, there'll be a lot of great she... texture on that when that's done. Knife work always leaves uh, a, a pleasing texture. That's right. We're back to uh, Josh's volatile uh, landscape here. He's he's left a lot of white space on the canvas. It would be interesting to see if he uh, fills that out later or if he uh, leaves it. Uh, as it is, but he's got uh, multiple volcanoes going on there. So we have a shot of the uh, DJ Rich Nines, a staple at Vancouver Art Battles. And uh, here we have some, uh, some motion lines, maybe. Maybe this phone is ringing right now. working with the uh, paint marker to highlight his uh, action lines.
And we are back to Hayer Immune and her gorgeous flower. I really like how this piece takes up the whole canvas. You know, a lot of times you see you see a flower, a, a still life, and it's kind of, you know, it's there on a table. But bam, this is a close crop of this beautiful flower. She's done a great, a, a great job in, I think, about 17 minutes. Yeah. How much time do we have left right now? I, um, I'm not sure. All right. We will have to pay attention to the... Uh venue sound to hear the countdown when they get there. Mm -hmm. We're back to Brian. He's uh, still working on the details of his uh, of his rocks here. He's got a pretty empty landscape. It'd be interesting to see if he adds a focus point in there as we go on. I really like his painting. It's it's sort of a, a bit bare bones as, as paintings go. Um, but it's got um, it, it's it's got something to it. He's got some nice perspective. Um, it is a little bit bare right now. I think I think he's going to add something else in there, some other focal point. Uh, There's something about where... the brushwork as well. It's kind of a you know it's leaving these like little it's like a speckled uh, brush approach, um, and it's really working. I think he will add something more though. Yeah. Here we have uh, Josh, a left-hander, working left-handed here. Uh, and he is filling out some shading details in the core of his piece. We have some more marker work being done by uh, and only uh, And only 10 seconds left, by the way. Oh, yeah. Brushes down. Okay. Well, I think we'll probably get a quick tour of this uh, round before we lose the feed and we get ready to go to voting. Uh, Chris, what do you think? Well, I think that uh, this flower's got a good chance of moving through to the final round. It's extremely well done. Extremely well done. Oh, and look at the signature in uh, in, in the uh, Korean, Korean font. In Korean yeah. there. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, this has got song, but that's not going to do it, I, I don't think. Yeah, the artists are checking out each other's work here. Yes, very good. I really like this piece. The knife work uh, made it. If she tried that with a brush, the edges would be too too muddied. This has got a bit yeah. of a, like, Vesuvian man, um, you know, vol oh, yeah. <laughs> volcano logo thing to it. It feels very Escher to me. It's kind of a strange, uh, strange one. Um, yeah. Okay, great. Well, we have uh, we are getting ready to go uh, for uh, voting and determining who are the four artists who will join us in the final round. If you want to help pick who will join us in the final round, you still can. You can vote in round one and you can vote in round two. You can vote right now at artbattle.com slash vote. Just throw in your name and phone number and help us pick the artists who will be in the third and final round. Uh, tonight's artist will go on to the Vancouver Finals, which will most likely be at the end of May, uh, barring any, you know, further uh, disruption to the uh, event going scene. Um, we will be uh, right back in about 15 minutes. We will be here, uh, Chris and I, together for round three, and uh, we will see together who will be the champion of Art Battle Vancouver. All right. Join us then.
Mm-hmm. Um, gosh darn it, but that audio problem has happened again. I'm going to try to fix it by doing something real quick here. I'm going to call you right back, Chris. Hmm. 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 Okay. Quite a scene there at uh, Art Battle Vancouver. I love, I love to see what we see. A great audience. And some uh, even better painters. Uh, let's see what's coming up. We got um, Hyun Hyun Yoon. Um, I love this palette. A nice uh, dusty muted palette coming off the bat here, but clearly some very intentional brush strokes. Very very precise with such a large brush. It's um, <laughs> I'd love to see what she's doing here. We're going to get Chris uh, looped back in here. Yeah, all right, we're almost back. Um, Chris, can you see the uh, folks on the screen? 
Okay, great. Well, you're li you're live. I'll go fix that other thing. Uh, take it away. I think there was a beer in the bottom left corner there. <laughs> I it's a it's a there's a poop emoji and a knife on top of a phone in a toilet. It's not exactly holiday art battle themed, but uh, hey, artist choice. Yes. Her, her uh, sample works, uh, her studio works are fantastic. If you're logged into the Art Battle uh, voting uh, and you've, you've sent your phone number in, just click on her name there. Some really fantastic work. I'm, I'm really glad she went in, her, in one of her classic modes, the floral direction. Uh, this is going to be a fantastic uh, painting, no doubt. Uh, it's a pot, not a beer. It was, uh, I don't know, that's, that must be a holiday thinking of me, but uh, uh, we're seeing her, her uh, she is a, a still life and floral painter as well. So we'll, we'll have a, something interesting to compare with here. I really like this artist piece. Um, the symmetry is what's really catching it for me here and coming in a very wise strategy of doing, you know, a sort of a light thin color uh, right off the bat and then coming in with some darker line work on top. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Well, for anybody who came with a, one of the, you know, a Santa elf hat on, I don't think this is going to do it for them. <laughs> Ooh. 
I appreciate the 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 graffiti feel of of, of that piece. That's a very um, you know, we're bathroom break on a graffiti run. I think I think that's right. She's from Korea. Mm -hmm. And it's all palette work, all palette knife work. That's um, that's nice. Well, with a palette knife, you can just wipe it off. With a brush, it's where you get into where you get into trouble. This is sort of a, 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 land, a landscape face uh, work going on. This is his first time. So it's a, uh, it came with a plan, no doubt. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What do you what do you even say about this painting? It's so funny. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I guess this is a, a critique on our uh, obsession with our mobile devices, perhaps. Or is are we to empathize with the character that is the poop emoji on the phone? Does this does this poop emoji have autonomy? Are they running around causing trouble? Yeah, it's true. You know, it's a couple couple hundred roosters, but never, um, never a phone uh, uh, taking a bathroom break. This is uh, this is a, a beautiful piece. Um, I really like the palette. I like it's a pretty limited palette, but it's really coming across nicely. And this comes, I think, clearly from. She is a long student of of flowers and this flower. Um, because even though the strokes themselves are, you know, fairly, you know, fairly brushy, we, we still get the overall sense of the flower. You can tell this is the first timer because he's wearing a sweater. <laughs> All paint clothes, all clothes eventually become paint clothes for anybody who's not. He's he's a new artist as well, actually. And then, so there you go. Maybe he hasn't seen that one yet. So very interesting to know. This one here looks like it is uh, 
quite uh, spontaneous. This one by Valeria. Uh, unlikely that she rehearsed this uh, painting, looking like something that she is going with the flow in the moment here. And uh, getting her colors on there. Working thickly. She's got her whole canvas covered now. And yep. uh, There'll be a lot of great she, texture on that when that's done. Knife work always leaves uh, a, a pleasing texture. That's right. We're back to uh, Josh's volatile uh, landscape here. He's, he's left a lot of white space on the canvas. It would be interesting to see if he uh, fills that out later or if he leaves it uh, as it is. But he's got... Uh, multiple volcanoes going on there. So we have a shot of the uh, DJ Rich Nines, a staple at Vancouver Art Battles. And uh, here we have some, uh, some motion lines, maybe. Maybe this phone is ringing right now. working with the uh, paint marker to highlight his uh, action lines. And we are back to Hayer Immune and her gorgeous flower. I really like how this piece takes up the whole canvas. You know, a lot of times you see you see a flower, a, a still life, and it's kind of, you know, it's there on a table, but bam, this is a close crop of this beautiful flower. She's done a great, a, a great job in, I think about 17 minutes. Yeah. How much time do we have left right now? I, um, I'm not sure. All right, we will have to pay attention to the, uh venue sound to hear the countdown when they get there. Mm -hmm. We're back to Brian. He's uh, still working on the details of his uh, of his rocks here. He's got a pretty empty landscape. It'd be interesting to see if he adds a focus point in there as we go on. I really like his painting. It's it's sort of a, a bit bare bones as, as paintings go. Um, but it's got um, it, it's it's got something to it. He's got some nice perspective. Um, it is a little bit bare right now. I think I think he's going to add something else in there, some other focal point. Uh, There's something about where... the brushwork as well. It's kind of a you know it's leaving these like little it's like a speckled uh, brush approach, um, and it's really working. I think he will add something more though. Yeah. Here we have uh, Josh, a left-hander, working left-handed here. Uh, and he is filling out some shading details in the core of his piece. We have some more marker work being done by uh, and only uh, And only 10 seconds left, by the way. Oh, yeah. Brushes down. Okay, well, I think we'll probably get a quick tour of this uh, round before we lose the feed and we get ready to go to voting. Uh, Chris, what do you think? Well, I think that uh, this flower's got a good chance of moving through to the final round. It's extremely well done. Extremely well done. Oh, and look at the signature in uh, in, in the uh, Korean, Korean font. Korean, Korean yeah. there. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, this has got something, but that's not going to do it, I, I don't think. Yeah, the artists are checking out each other's work here. Yes, very good. I really like this piece. The knife work uh, made it. If she tried that with a brush, the edges would be too too muddied. This has got a bit yeah. of a, like, Vesuvian man, um, you know, vol oh, yeah. <laughs> volcano logo thing to it. It feels very Usher to me. It's kind of a strange, uh, strange one. Yeah. Um, Okay, great. Well, we have uh, we are getting ready to go. 
uh, for uh, voting and determining who are the four artists who will join us in the final round. If you want to help pick who will join us in the final round, you still can. You can vote in round one and you can vote in round two. You can vote right now at artbattle.com slash vote. Just throw in your name and phone number and help us pick the artists who will be in the third and final round. Uh, tonight's artist will go on to the All right, we just did the winner announcements there, but I missed them. So we're going to go look who won right now. I don't think it will be any surprise for you that uh, from round one, Madeline Wynn, uh, that was the uh, landscape that we were talking about with the Golden People, and Rodrigo Perez, uh, our uh, equine artist, fantastic. Um, in round two, Hiram, Hiram Yoon with the flower, and of course, <laughs> wouldn't be complete with Andy Chow, who did the uh, um, phone toilet painting, if you can believe it. Those are the winners of their respective rounds, and they're going on for a four-way final round coming up in just a few short moments. Thanks very much, and we'll be right back.
Uh, it's the moment we've been waiting for. Round three, our final round. Let's give it up for our winners. Here we go. Waiting for a second time. Who knows what they'll do? Do they have it planned? Are they improvising? Did they expect to be here or did they catch them by surprise? <laughs> We're about to find out. Painters, are you ready? That's a yes. <laughs> Audience, are you ready? That's a yes. So we're going to count it down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's paint. <laughs> they do a really great let's paint over there in Vancouver. Yeah, they sure do. <laughs> something. That's something. Okay. Well, uh, uh, two fantastic rounds already tonight round one round two obviously and we are here for the third and final round we have four artists competing with us tonight we have from round one madeline win and rodrigo perez who chris was just saying to me off uh, off air here has been a competitor for 10 years and was an art battle toronto competitor so very cool to see him uh, over there in vancouver and from round two uh, Hiram Yoon and Andy Chow are our uh, our competitors for a four way final. All right, it is very interesting to see what these artists create in their second painting here tonight. Do they do something similar to their first painting, or do they take it in a totally different direction? Always very interesting to watch. Absolutely, because the you know the obviously the audience votes for the winner, and you have to do a if you're going to do pretty much the same thing as you did in round one, you have to do an even better job, um, or it's just it just it doesn't resonate with the voters. That's right, that's right. Well, we've got four great painters here, and uh, here we are with Hiram Yoon. I think we're seeing either another flower or possibly a bird. Is that, uh, it's probably yeah. another flower. Could be. It's probably another flower. She's heavy into the florals. She said, yeah, and, and she, she crushed it in her round. So uh, doing yeah. doing that and even slightly better would certainly garner a, a big chunk of votes. This is her first art battle, so very interesting to know if she came into this with two paintings planned or if she's just... Uh, if she was just happy to get out of round one and into the final and is just winging it. <laughs> we shall see. Yeah. Uh, she seems, she seems like the planning type. There's something about, she's, she, she's pretty meticulous. Um, I, I bet, I bet you she thought she had a chance. So we'll see though. All right. We have uh, Andy here. Who's a famous uh, toilet poop emoji piece. Got him through. <laughs> I, I'm glad we're seeing a little, a little bit more. I mean, there's a heart there now, so that uh, that that's at least puts us in a nice direction. That's right. Madeline's got good coverage on her canvas so far here. Yeah, in her round, in her round one, she she went on uh, very wet and then sort of dried it off. It was a very interesting technique. She hasn't quite used it uh, again here, but uh, this is a very experienced artist. Uh, she she knows where she's headed and she knows how to get there. Yeah, she's been battling since uh, 2017 in Vancouver. So she's been in a few art battles and uh, definitely came into this with two paintings planned. Rodrigo's uh, working with his, uh, looks like, charcoal here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can see no surprise uh, here for us on this painting. He'll be definitely be doing a, uh, a portrait piece. He did I a think horse and round in his first round. So mm -hmm. I think that's a fantastic move. Um, the the audience is gonna is gonna love that. Yeah. And uh, the artists are working on different size canvas than we they had in round one and round two. They have a square canvas. Looks like it's uh, twenty four by twenty four square canvas here in the uh, final round. We'll nice see, uh, Instagram posts. Yeah, absolutely. There's Andy. He did the same thing he did in uh, round two. Started off with a little paint in the background and then coming in with the uh, with the paint markers. I think it's a great technique. And actually, since opening up to the open materials and allowing materials such as paint markers that's it's a it's a unusual technique for us previously 
but here we have you know a quick sort of color segments um, and then drawing immediately applied after. Um, I, I, it looks great. Yeah, I'm surprised the markers work so well on top of wet paint, but uh, uh, mm -hmm. that's not something that I use in my practice, so I'm not familiar with it. But they seem to they seem to work pretty well. Mm -hmm. Madeline here, very casual. We saw her. Uh, she had a, a real favorite brush in the in that first round, and I think we're seeing a different brush here. So. I wonder if it's a one one brush per round. We'll have to watch that. All right. And here's Rodrigo smudging out his charcoal. Looks like he has a reference photo down on the table that he is looking at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rodrigo did a full sketch of the horse in uh, round one as well. And then um, it, was a, it was really a, an excellent performance. Very vigorous application of the charcoal. Um, this is a little bit uh, more of a fine approach, but I bet you we see that fully covered in paint by the time uh, we're done here. I'm sure that we will. And uh, Hayer Amun, hard to tell. This does look a little bit like a uh, flower, but uh, she hasn't got enough on the canvas for us to be able to tell yet. be interesting to watch that piece develop yeah almost a bit of a tree uh a, a palm tree vibe there but i don't think that's yeah. it well i think we're going to get another storytelling painting going on here even if we didn't really understand the story being told in the first one um but uh this is this is cool there's there's uh I like the palette. I like the uh, sort of reflection of the colors in the two different shapes. Um, this has got a lot of legs. Yeah, will be interesting to see. I definitely think that uh, he's got that uh, cartoonish aspect to his piece. As you said, the first piece, a little bit of uh, graffiti style too. And uh, Oh, do you know what? He, what he... he mentioned his, um, he's into breakup, stoner breakup art. <laughs> So I think <laughs> I think that's in play here with the sort of the one heart has sort of got a hole in it and the other one is uncertain. Um, that's uh, it's very interesting. I wonder if this is therapeutic for him or uh, if his uh, you know new girlfriend is in the audience. <laughs> that's an interesting niche, stoner breakup art. <laughs> yeah, he's at the top of his game, top of the game in stoner breakup art. <laughs> First piece from Madeline was a uh, sort of a, sea, a shoreline piece, and mm -hmm. uh, looks like she's working on a uh, forest there. It'd be interesting to see if that's a body of water in front of it. Here we go. Rodrigo's got. Uh, Ooh, I love the gold. It looks beautiful. It's really something. Yeah. It's a it's a brilliant approach actually because I mean obviously he has the skill to do a a correctly proportioned face, um, but to sort of cut you know a third of it off with a fairly abstract shape, I don't know it just makes it so much more interesting. Although yeah. that that second eye I feel like it should be poking out a bit more. I'm sure he'll come back to that. I'm sure that he will. I'm sure that he will. <clears throat> makes me want to have a uh, static cam on each painting here so that we can uh, <laughs> see the development. That's the dream, isn't it? Yeah, that'll be great. Well, I think we've got a flamingo here. I think that's uh, it's where we're headed. And uh, I don't know. The flower, the people are going to, it's going to have to be a hell of a flamingo to be as good as that flower. Yeah. You think that's a flamingo? Yeah, it does kind of look like one. Yeah. We saw a great uh, punk flamingo in uh, Toronto in October from uh, <laughs> yes. Katie Paquette. Yeah, we'll have to tell Katie she's got competition in Vancouver. That's right. Mm-hmm. 
comic i looked it up it's comic book stoner breakup art <laughs> is the, is the uh, genre <laughs> that's uh that's highly specific that's uh that this is definitely a uh i uh, got a breakup vibe going on here as you mentioned mm -hmm. we're uh i think i think i just heard them say we're about halfway Yeah, a lot of work to be done here. Yeah, this is a this is the same sort of layered approach that she took in the first painting, and I rem I, I remember, you know, I remember being not impressed early on in the game, and she really, you know, b blew it away by the time it was done. I think we're going to see the same thing here. This is a bit of a slow and steady approach. Yeah, and it is. Look at the it's the same paintbrush from her. Her, uh, she's using the same paintbrush the whole time. I love it. Yeah, when you get in, when you get in the groove, everybody's got a favorite tool. Mm -hmm. When you get in the groove, you just want to use that one over and over again for everything. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what she does with the foreground of this piece. And uh, we've got Rodrigo here. He's coloring in the face. Quite a quite an interesting piece. Yeah, you see how he's uh, all all but completely, and I think by the time we're done, it will be completely covered up. That sketch. It, what what I love about that is it really makes the experience of watching this painting evolve much richer. I mean, it's not like he's operating like a you know a printer top down just putting it on. This is a very very uh, uh, comprehensive layering approach, and it really pays off. Yeah, it's very interesting to see that um, studio-like practice of using the uh, getting the sketch on there first before putting the paint on. Mm -hmm. That's something that's uh, new to art battle, and it's very interesting to watch. This uh, flamingo, if it is a flamingo, has a lot of uh, wings. <laughs> I I think it's a bit of a palm tree flamingo hybrid. Yeah, maybe it is. Once again, very. this is being her first art battle. Very interesting to know if she had two paintings planned coming in or just one. This is also Andy's first art battle, so. He's left a lot of blank space on the uh, canvas. And uh, we'll see if he fills that in with any uh, texture or, uh, or pattern like he did before. It'll be interesting to see if he fills that in or if he leaves it with just the two features. I like the comic book uh, sort of speed indicators here. There's a real sense of movement and, you know, gravity uh, in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is um, a palette combination that she used in the first round and the sort of the much smaller sort of golden yellow figures on the shore. Um, but it's what I really love about this is it, it calls back to the round one painting, but it doesn't feel like a replica of it. It just feels sort of we, that we've moved on and we're in a different scene, uh, but it's sort of shot with the same lens as it were uh, to use yeah. sort of a movie analogy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's definitely she's definitely building up here. Rodrigo working with his hands. We uh Oh yeah, he's he's uh, mixing his uh he's mix mixing and uh and layering with his fingers here. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, wow. Some... Look at that. That is a great portrait. Yeah, that's really nice. If you like what you see here and you uh, would like to see it hang in your home, you can participate in the auction at artbattle.com slash vote. 
enter your phone number, your name and phone number in there, and you get a link to both to vote and to participate in the silent auction. Uh, paintings can be shipped, no problem. So feel free to uh, put your bid in to take one of these paintings home, hang it in your space. You'll have a, a great piece of art and the story behind it. And if you're in Vancouver, that probably means we can get that to you before Christmas. So uh, for all you Vancouver, uh, Vancouverites, oh geez, is that the right one? Um, yeah. uh, check it out. We'll uh, we'll uh, get those paintings to you, and you can uh, wrap them and put them under the tree. Oh, look at this! So the the one heart has come out of the other heart at speed. I think. Or, or it's honing in on it. This is very good. It's really cool. It's really cool. I wonder if we're going to see um, a manhole cover down there. We get sort of a bit of a street scene. Or is that oh, a shadow? Yeah. I think maybe that's a shadow. Mm -hmm. It's so defined, though. Yeah, he's just working on his uh, working on his cube there. He's rounded the edges on the uh, the panels, mm -hmm. and uh, still working with the markers. That's his uh, tool of preference, and we see quite a nice build here on Madeline's painting. Yeah, slow and steady. Uh, every every stroke is adding to it. Man, this is this is the you know going from the the very light of the white into the blues into the dark and then back out to the yellow. This feels very alive, despite the fact that it's essentially a night scene. Yeah. Almost like a campfire magic, but that's not it. It's some it's some other forest magic going on there. Rodrigo's really got a lot of life here in this portrait. Mm -hmm. He's going to be right at the top of this pile. He might be the guy to beat here. Yeah. And again, he's left a lot of uh, empty space on his canvas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see if he uh, fills that in or if he, if he leaves it the way that it is. Just a it's beautiful portrait, though. He did end up filling it in with the horse in round one. It's it's a gamble though, you know. It's uh, such a complete piece now, and then to and then to take that, um, you know, well, we're not exactly sure how much time is left, but uh, probably in about four minutes. So not not a lot left. This is a nice flamingo. Um, if it were swapped around, I don't know if she would have made it out of her round with this flamingo, though. So that's going to be a tough one, a tough one to take at home. Um, but but uh, we shall see. It, it, there is a there is a festive angle to it somehow. It's a bit of a like a um, you know party dress, uh, holiday party dress vibe to it. Yeah. We have Andy here. He is. Uh... carefully working on his composition uh, he may be it'd be interesting to know if this is something that he has uh, sketched out before or if this is something that he's creating in the moment it's it looks very spontaneous uh i think that uh he's creating in the moment right now and he may be getting close to being done yeah he's it certainly like, weighing weighing that option that's right Oh, in fact, we may all... No, no, let's see. I'll get some venue side here. No, they're still gone. Ooh, this gets better and better. This is also... Look at, look at, the, look at the yellow between the two paintings. Yeah. Well, that's cool. We got a little, bit of a, like, a little bit of a glowing yellow beauty connection. Wow. That's going to be tough for our voters here. 
I hope uh, I hope you've tuned in. Head over to artbattle.com slash vote and uh, just type in your name and phone number and you can vote and bid on these paintings. Uh, you'll help us decide the winner and you can bid in the auction and have these paintings shipped right to your home. Rodrigo is filling in the uh, empty space on his canvas and uh, he's using his hand to do it. Well, it's a fast way to go. Yeah. Not afraid to get messy. We've actually seen some good handwork this uh, this show. In the first round, we had um, Allison uh, uh, Kutahar. Um, she did an, a really beautiful uh, monochromatic uh, blending uh, with her hand. She sort of sketched it out and then and then and then did all of the shading from pulling in from the black lines all with her finger. Yeah, it can be tricky getting your hands in there in, in just in 20 minutes. We've uh, seen, we see some artists with success having that, and we uh, sometimes see Yeah, well, you don't want it to make turn a into mess. a finger painting. <laughs> you don't want it to turn into a but finger painting. There's a difference between using your hand. As it, oh, there we are. We're uh, brushes down. I can I can sense it. Everybody's clapping. Let's get some venue sound. Remember to sign. Oh, maybe we got a minute left. Audience, Everybody now the time the to vote for who's going to win it all tonight. Oh, yeah. Go on to compete right. in the Vancouver City Finals next year. Okay, well, there we are, uh, folks. Uh, it's it's been a, a a fantastic round. It will be tough a tough vote, uh, but now's the time to get those votes in. Yeah, now's the time. Go to artbattle.com slash vote, and uh, you're not too late to register to get your votes in. Which one of these pieces is the best one of the final round? Which one of these artists des deserves to go through to the city finals? Well, we will see. Um, uh, all of them have done a great job, and I'm sure we're going to see some happy collectors with uh, new gifts to share uh, from tonight's event. Uh, again, you are welcome to bid on these paintings, and we, if you're local to the Vancouver area, we will get them to you, and otherwise we will ship them off. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, thank you, Chris, for, uh, uh, joining me tonight. My pleasure. Uh, we will, uh, be back to announce the winner of the event, the, the art battle Vancouver, December champion, um, in as soon as we've got it in a few short minutes, uh, but don't forget to get your votes in and join us. This is actually the last art battle. Is it the last art battle of the year? I think it may yeah, be it the is. last art battle it's of the year. It's the and last one of 2021. Last one of 2021. But there is a whole slew of them coming right away uh, in January. So if you're an Art Battle fan, join us on January 5th for Salt Lake City, January 6th in Seattle, Washington. January 7th, we're back in Victoria, BC. January 8th, Oakland, California. Uh, then we're uh, a little bit later in the month, the 18th in Toronto, the 20th in Montreal, the 21st in Chicago, the 23rd in Phoenix, Arizona, the 26th in San Francisco, and also the 26th in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and the 27th in Los Angeles. I'm almost done January 29th, Dallas, Texas, and that takes us out of uh, the end of January. So thanks very much, and uh, we hope to see you uh, in a few short minutes when we announce the winner and at any and all of those other Art Battle events coming up in 2022.
Are we ready to find out tonight's winner? Yes, one last big round of applause for all of our painters. Final art battle of 2021. What's the next one in January, Lindsay? January 20th, and it'll be a special lounge style seated art battle due to the new restrictions announced yesterday. New restrictions, but we're still going ahead, so we love Red Room for accommodating us, lounge style with all the health orders. January 20th, right? Amazing. But tonight, there could be only one winner. Oh, but first, we gotta remind you, the auction, you've got 15 more minutes. 15 more minutes to get in the bid, and also the Red Room is being really nice tonight. Anyone in here now is welcome to stay for this evening's party. There's a big subculture Saturday, a bass music party happening. If you want to hear some bass music, Definitely stick around, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, now actually we'll announce the winner. Drum roll, let's do it. But first, one more time, let's please give a big round of applause for all the artists tonight. So you voted your winner for this evening, it is Rodrigo. Actually, no dancing, but stick around if you want to hear the bass music. <laughs> Have a great night. Get home safe, everyone.